content on the journey of life, transformational devotionals, and Bible studies. This is Dana Susan Beasley of angelarts.biz, and today I'm starting a new series on falling in love with the bridegroom, or Jesus. So, and this is from a devotional I did years ago, my personal devotional from my journal. So I'm just going to read to you some parts, but first I'm going to start with prayer. So, here we go. Dear Lord Jesus, help us to know that you are here with us and present. Help us to understand how much you love us and to fall in love with you day by day, deeper and deeper. And it's in your precious name I pray. Amen. All right, so I'm going to read from Mark 2, 18 through 22. Going to have to use my glasses. And this is the New King, New King James Version. So, friends, this is the word of the Lord. The disciples of John and of the Pharisees were fasting. Then they came and said to him, Why do the disciples of John and of the Pharisees fast, but your disciples do not fast? And Jesus said to them, Can the friends of the bridegroom fast while the bridegroom is with them? As long as they have the bridegroom with them, they cannot fast. But the days will come when the bridegroom will be taken away from them, and then they will fast in those days. No one sews a piece of unshrunk cloth on an old garment, or else the new place pulls away from the old, or the new piece pulls away from the old, and the tear is made worse. And no one puts new wine into old wineskins, or else the new wine bursts the wineskins. The wine is spilled, and the wineskins are ruined. But new wine must be put into new wineskins. And that's very similar, of course, to a passage in Matthew. So, from this passage, what can we glean that Jesus is like our bridegroom? He is new, radically different, worthy to be celebrated. He gives us a newness, a freshness, a spirit. Someone completely set free from the old ways. And my response to that is to be careful not to be under any kind of bondage because free people, free people. I like that. And then I ask a series of questions in this. How can I practically apply this to my life? Put on the armor of God every day. So, what was God saying to me as I meditated? My role in life, free people. Interesting. So, that is from Mark 2, 18 through 22. I hope that you found that encouraging. All right, so I'm going to end in prayer. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you that you free people. You died on the cross to free us and that you you created new wineskins and you created a new covenant where we do have freedom and because we have freedom in you we can free people and I just thank you for that and I pray Lord that each person listening will find that freedom and that newness of life that you give. And I pray all this in your precious name. Amen. All right. So if you would like to, actually, I should have mentioned this before, but I forgot. But but if you look below in the description field, I have some, a gift for you for Valentine's Day, because I know that's a couple of days from now. Gosh, time goes so, so fast. So look at that. It's free. And then if you want to go deeper into Bible study and even learn how to study the Bible for yourself, I have a Bible study called Becoming God's Bride. What I'm reading to you is this companion called Falling in Love with the Bridegroom. I actually do have that as I have designed that into a publication. I just, I need to get that on my website. I haven't done that yet. But anyway, you can take a look at Becoming God's Bride and learn how to study the Bible for yourself. So, hope you find that encouraging. 
This is Dana Susan Beasley of angelarts.biz. Together, may we reach new heights in our lives and beyond.